this is big, 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 big news. You know, the Medical Council of Canada just gave every single MCQ1 exam candidate a gift. And I call this an absolute gift. Just think about it. 55 free official practice questions. <laughs> you know, you don't need to sign up. You don't need any credit card. There is no gatekeeping. Just high quality exam style questions. And it is created by the same team which builds the actual MCQ1 exam. And if you are preparing for this exam right now, you'd be making a huge mistake not to jump on this opportunity right away. By the way, I am Dr. Bonnie, and I'm your MCQ1 coach and the lead you at Medcognito. And today, I want to walk you through what these 55 questions are all about, why it is such a generous and timely gift. I, I can't just hide my admiration for what the Medical Council of Canada has done. And most importantly, I want to also share three powerful reasons. One, two, three. Reasons why practicing with official styled MCQ1 questions can make or break your MCQ1 exam preparation. So today, I, let's start with what is new. I don't know the time you are watching this video, but as of July 22nd, 2025, the MCC, which is the Medical Council of Canada, just released 55 free, remember, it's free, multiple choice questions. And I need to emphasize this because since 2025, the MCC stopped offering the clinical decision-making portion of the exam. And this was the afternoon portion where after candidates had dealt with 200 and 10 questions in the morning, which were MCQs, they would come and deal with 38 CDMs. So as of 2025, no more CDMs. And in preparation for the MCQ portion of this exam, the Medical Council of Canada has just released 55 free multiple choice questions. You know, they use the same methodology which the exam setting committee uses, and it is at the standard of the exam. So this means that, you know, if you are thinking about the clinical vignettes, the decision-making scenarios, the diagnosis, the management options, thinking about everything, these 55 questions look like the real exam. Every single question comes with a correct answer, a detailed rationale why that answer is right or wrong, and even references as to where they got those questions from. And this is not from some random prep company but from the official source itself, which is the MCC. <laughs> and let me pause to say, look, I can't hide my excitement. I'm incredibly grateful to the Medical Council of Canada for doing this. This is huge. You know, this kind of move shows me certain things, that the Medical Council of Canada is not just a gatekeeping organization. No, they are really educators and they are ready to help MCQ1 exam takers to ace the exam. They really want you to succeed. And what I see is that they are giving you the tools so you can succeed. So now, what's the big deal about all this? Because, you know, we all know how expensive the medical licensing exam can be, you know, between the steady materials, application fees, traveling to exam centers, subscriptions. You know, if you get access to anything which is official, which is free, it is a rare situation. But beyond the free resources, I, I think there are some three things I want us to think about. And I want to give you reasons why what the Medical Council of Canada is just so powerful. You know, in sports, I would have said they've hit the ball out of the park. The first reason is this. These questions show you how the Medical Council of Canada thinks. Okay? You know, you can study all the resources up-to-date, Tintinali, AFMC Primer, everything. You can read all the textbooks which have been recommended. You can watch all the lectures and you can still get blindsided on the real exam and on the exam date. Why? Because, you know, the exam is not just testing what you know. The exam is actually testing how you're going to apply all these things in real-time clinical scenarios. So these 55 questions let you peek behind the curtain and it helps you to appreciate how the MCC frames their questions, what level of clinical reasoning they expect you to be at, 
and how they differentiate between an average answer and the best answer. So let me give you an example. Assuming you are dealing with a patient with an unstable angina, you might know the textbook answer, but are you confident that you know the exact next best step based on a particular clinical scenario, especially when you're under exam pressure? That is, the, that is the kick there, you know? These questions force you to think the way the medical council wants you to think. And that is all that passing this exam is about. So let's look at the second reason. I think this is a wonderful opportunity. It also gives you an opportunity to train your brain for the real exam. You know, I want to tell you something most students don't hear enough. Reading alone is not enough. And passive review alone is not enough. And that is why you realize that at Medcognito, we emphasize on solving as many question banks as possible. You know, you need to train your mind to retrieve information and to be able to make split second clinical decisions and to rule out distractors, you know, under exam pressure. And that is a huge skill. It takes a lot of skills to be able to do that. And this can only come by doing questions again and again and again and again. So that when you take the MCQ one, you get to appreciate that this is not just a knowledge test, but rather a clinical based decision making test. And the more exposure you can get to, you know, the exam style questions, the more your brain will learn to know how to stay calm on the exam. Because that's also something we see coming up in a lot of our mock exams. You know, candidates try to rush through it and they are not able to spot key clues and think critically. So you don't want your first encounter with the MCC and the way they logically think through cases to be the exam day. No, you want it to happen right now so that, you know, on the exam day, you go like, oh, I'm familiar with the way the MCC does its thing. And so this is not a difficulty for me at all. Number three, the third reason is that you also learn from your mistakes. You will learn from your mistakes that the things you are reading, am I reading the right stuff? Because this is 55 questions. And I was thinking if the questions have, you know, A, B, C, D, E, every question will have just one right answer. So you have 55 questions. Each of them is an A, B, C, D, E. So in reality, if I multiply 55, okay, 55 by 5, I'm talking about 275 concepts. So I'm going to use the correct answer as a learning rationale, and I'm going to use the wrong answers as well as learning rationales as well. So every wrong answer is an opportunity for me because the MCC understands this, and when they brought up these questions, they also added references and rationales. So when you miss a question, you are not just guessing. You are actually learning why your choice was wrong and why the correct answer was right. So the moment of, oh, I didn't consider that patient's creatinine was too high, you know, for contrast imaging, that sticks even way deeper than anything you read from a PDF or a textbook, which is recommended by everybody, right? And mistakes in practice, are what prevents mistakes on the real exam date. So don't be afraid to be wrong. Be afraid not to rather try. And the painful thing and the beautiful thing is that this trying comes at no cost to you. The only thing you need to do is just to get a quiet place and sit and say that I'm going to try these questions. So now let's talk about logistics. How are you going to access these questions? It's beautifully simple. All you need to do is to click the link and you are in. That is it. You don't need any login. You don't need any accounts. You don't need any subscription. And the MCC has made this resource 100% open access to anyone who is preparing for the MCQ1. And even if you're not preparing for the MCQ1 and you're in medical school or you're even a practicing physician and you just want to brush up your knowledge, this is a wonderful opportunity for you. So whether you're a Canadian graduate or an IMG, this is awesome and this is for you so we will drop the link below this video and you can click on it right now even while i'm talking don't just bookmark it you know go in there and try it i don't want you to bookmark it and say oh i'll come back later and do it no no no. do it right now i want you to do it right now take action right now you realize that for me as dr body this is my mantra if it has to be done it has to be done now so even if you commit to just doing just five questions every day. 
That's 11 days of exam caliber learning. And this is going to be huge for exam preparation. So now maybe you are thinking, well, 55 questions isn't that much. And you're right. It's not a full question bank, of course. But let me ask you, how often do you get to see inside the examiner's mind? You see, you may say, oh, it's not a lot of questions. But how often do you get to see inside the examiner's mind? These 55 questions are a benchmark, you know? It's a reference point, and it's a master class in what good questions actually look like. So what I will say is use them, and while you are using them, it helps you to gauge your strengths and your weaknesses as well as the gaps in your learning. Get used to the tone of the questions. Get used to the pacing of the questions. Get used to the structure of the questions. And this will help you to calibrate your preparation while going forward. So if you like what you see, and I think you will, you realize that the Medical Council also has official preparatory products for purchase, which even contains more questions. I, I made reference to this. So what I'll say is start here. Start smart and start right now. I am big on starting right now. So what are my final thoughts on this whole thing? The MCQ1 exam opens a door to residency, to practice ready assessment, and your future as a physician in Canada. So don't leave your preparation to chance. Don't just cram blindly. Don't just read. Rather, train yourself. Okay? Use the tools that are built by the same people assessing you. And once again, I will say this on behalf of anyone watching this video. Thank you to the Medical Council of Canada for this incredible initiative. You know, this kind of access is a major win for everyone preparing for the exam. So let's not waste it. Go now, click on the link, start doing the questions right away and give yourself the edge that you need in order to ace the exam. And if this video has helped you make sure you hit the like subscribe button turn on the bell notification and i also want to i want you to leave a comment and tell me when you are starting the 55 question challenge and how many questions will you do in a day okay also subscribe to this channel for more high yield breakdowns and free resources in preparation for all mcc associated exams and other medical school related content by the way, don't forget, I am Dr. Bruni. Please remember, steady smart, stay focused, and let's all go and crash the MCQ1 exam. See you in the next video. All right? See you in the next video.